Do you ever wonder to yourself, how on earth do pro players always have the lowest services possible? How do they get so low input delay from this? Well, boys, in this video, I'll be telling you what services you guys need to disable to get those processors down. And boys, trust me, this video is crazy because I went from 250 processors to around 100, 110, that perfect sweet spot. And now, of course, I'm going to show it to you guys. But without further ado, boys, I'm going to get straight into this video. If I can ask for one thing in return, quickly leave a like, quickly subscribe. It will mean so, so much to me, but let's get straight into it. Okay, the first thing that I want you guys to do is literally be on your desktop just like so. Right click on the bottom, go on Task Manager quickly, then go on to Performance, CPU. Right here is what we want to be looking at. Processors, mine is 127. Obviously, I'm recording the video, I'm editing the video. That's why mine's a little bit too high. Normally, I'm playing around 90 to 100, literally that perfect sweet spot. And if you guys are watching this video, in my opinion, more than 150 processors, boys, you guys need to get that down. And in this video, of course, I'll be showing you how first of all quite an easy tweak i'm sure most of you have already done it already but startup apps need to all be disabled the only ones i have enabled is literally ones that i instantly do open up anyway so it just makes it a little bit more convenient so nvidia broadcast for when i'm recording videos is literally enabled that's about it but let's say microsoft edge that's disabled you don't want that on because in the background of your pc this is going to be running and you literally don't know about it it is going to be so confusing if you have these enabled so make sure you disable all these and then already from this by the way if you restart your PC you, you will see your processors are slightly lower but of course we can get them down so so much because of this golden tool right here the services now every single thing that says running right here so for example this 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 they're all in the background of your PC using up processors now we're going to be disabling the services that we literally do not need running in the background of our PC all that it's doing is literally increasing our processors so now we're going to be disabling it and also just quickly to tell you about gear up so many pros have been using this and if you do want lower delay boys you need to start using gear up i normally play 60 to 70 ms when i have gear up on the background by the way it uses zero processors it you can literally get to zero ping which i normally play and obviously it's super easy to use literally press boost and of course there is a free trial in the description of my video so make sure to download it give it a go and you'll get lower ping just like so it is one of the best ping optimizers you can get for your pc completely for free in the description and and literally the only reason I'm telling you is I just don't want you guys to be missing out because so many pros are using it and not many people talk about it. So make sure you do give it a go. But now back to the processes. Let's go to services, open services. And now this is what we're going to be doing. Boys, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to be saying every single one. I'm just going to be scrolling down slowly. The only ones that I'm going to be talking about is the ones that whether your PC should be able to disable it or not disable it. For example, some Bluetooth services if you're using Bluetooth or your mouse services if you're using a mouse, obviously, or if you're on a laptop. I'll let you know, but if I don't let you know, I really do recommend you should literally disable it. So first one, by the way, I'll just tell you how to disable it. I'm not going to do this every single time. Literally right click onto it, go onto properties, startup type, literally press disabled. If you can't press disabled, that means the server status is ongoing. Make sure you quickly stop it, then go on startup type, disable, make sure you press apply after every single one. Now, even one I have on manual, make sure you do the same thing. Literally go onto manual, just like so, simple as this, or if I have it disabled, then you disable. Now we're going to scroll down slowly, slowly, and I'll tell you which one to disable or enable. So obviously, I'm not going to be able to talk through every single one, unfortunately. And by the way, these are pro literal services. So make sure you do copy these exactly how it is, because I'm not going to like it's by far the best. And obviously, I'll scroll down very slowly. Some points you may have to stop the video, unfortunately. But if not, it's completely fine. Literally, just keep going. If you're fast enough, obviously, it's going to take ages, by the way. And I mean, I'll just keep scrolling down slowly, slowly until we get to the first one where I have to talk to you guys about if you should disable it or if you shouldn't. And by the way, please do remember at the end of this video to literally restart your PC. If you haven't restarted your PC, this isn't going to work for you. I'm not going to lie. And now we are getting very, very close to the one that literally most people say you should disable it. You shouldn't disable it. And I'm literally going to leave it up to you guys because obviously most people say to have it on. Most people say to have it off. And it's literally going to be right here, by the way. We're going to scroll down that tiny bit more right here is what we're looking at sys main maintains and improves system performance over time me personally i have it disabled by the way remember literally property startup type for me disabled now maintains and system performance over time yes this is true to an extent because every time this is on by the way it is bottlenecking your gpu and cpu making it work that tiny bit less than it actually should obviously this will improve the system performance over time because it's not working at its full potential if you want your gpu 
CPU and CPU to be working at its full potential, in my opinion, you should disable this. You will hardly know a difference, by the way. I'm not going to lie. If you do have this enabled, you'll literally not know a difference about it improving your system performance over time. But once you're done with that, we can keep scrolling down. And I'm not going to lie. If there are some services which you really don't want to disable, then boys, it does not matter. Literally, just don't disable it. As simple as that. One or two services, that's not going to matter about your processors or anything like that or your frames. They'll probably stay the exact same. But it's just disabling all of these that I have on manual or disabled. That will make a big, big difference. Now we're down at the very end. Boys, I hope you did copy all of that, by the way. But we're still not done yet. We can get these processors down so much more than this. Now, what we need to be doing is heading over to our search bar, search background apps, just like so. Click onto it. Make sure let apps run in the background. Make sure this is off. This is the same thing as the startup apps, by the way. There's going to be apps on in the background that you don't know about. It's going to be running using so much of your CPU and GPU that it's literally just going to be waking up so much worse for your PC. So literally turn this off completely. You don't want to be turning this off manually. Literally press the top one. Let apps run in the background. Make sure this is off. Another thing you need to do is search Xbox game bar controller settings. Completely fine. Go on to game bar on the top. Literally right here. Control how game bar opens and recognizes your game. Make sure this is off. You do not want to be using Xbox game bar to clip your stuff. Instead, literally use the Nvidia app. It is so much better for your processors right here. This uses like one or two, if anything. The Xbox one uses 20 to 30 which is a massive massive difference so make sure you this is definitely off captures as well make sure this is off i literally don't have the option because i fully turned it off game mode as well make sure game mode is on for every single pc recently they have updated this where it literally does what it says when game mode is on windows optimizes your pc for play it makes it so much better for your pc to have this on it used to be some pieces have it off some pieces have it on but trust me now for every single pc you need to be turning that on now another thing you need to do is go to graphic settings so search GPU, click onto this. Hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Again, this has been updated as well. So make sure all of you guys turn this on as well. Like it does say though, you'll need to restart your PC to have changes take effect. Same as the services, by the way. Make sure you restart your PC at the end of this video. And one last thing we need to do is literally head over to the search bar, search system configuration, click onto this. Startup selection, click on the third one, then tick the first two boxes. Once you've clicked the first two boxes, go on to boot, timeout settings. You pick a number between zero and five seconds zero being the best of the best pc five seconds being a very very bad pc for me i have an average pc so pick three seconds then go on to advanced options number of processes make sure this is ticked then click the maximum amount of processes you can obviously you want the maximum amount of processes to be working in your pc you don't want it to be four or some people literally have it manually on one because they forget about this setting it is such a big setting you guys need to change so for me i have eight so click on eight simple as this make sure pci lock and debug is unticked by the way once you just press OK, apply and OK, and now you guys definitely have to restart your video. Then go check your task manager, go on to performance, and your processors should be definitely lower by the start. It is honestly crazy how much of a difference this will make. But boys, that is the end of this video. Hope you did enjoy. If you did, please do leave a like and subscribe.